Welcome back to another episode of GDE on Point. On this episode, Hambanati as MEC Matome Chulwan officially opens Mandisa Shitkaika Math, Science and ICT School of Specialization with a focus in mining located in Kakhesong Krugerstorp. This is the second mining school to be opened in Gauteng and the first by the MEC since appointed in the department. Let's take a look at how the day unfolds. Sanbonani, my name is Ron Kasiketi. We are currently at the launch of the Mandisa Shikaika Mad Science and ICT School of Specialization. Schools of Specialization seeks to nurture talent across different key disciplines in South Africa. And Mandisa Shikaika is the second school of specialization to open with a focus of mining in the province. the project coordinator. I was monitoring the kids, they came with an idea and then we made it into reality. This is our mind, our way of mimicking the real mind. We wanted people to come in and experience the real feeling of being underground. So we created this using recyclable, recyclable material, uh, your styrofoam, wood and some plastic pipes. So this is our mind. My name is Kifti Vilagazi, currently schooling here at Mandisa Shitreka School of Specialization. So our mind started uh, early, this, early this year. So our, this idea came up last year. So it started as an idea till it became reality. So our mind is going to, our school is being launched. So our mind was, we were planning our mind to be a wow factor for our school. I'm gonna be demonstrating what what is around. Here. So I'm gonna start off with our lighting system. The lighting system is used to to see whether it's safe to be in the environment or not. So the yellow light represents when it's safe to be in the environment. It's safe to have some guests in. Then I'm gonna go to our railway. Yes. So this railway is used to transport our minerals that we have found from our underground layer to the, to the crown layer. To the crown. Then I'm going to go to our structure. This structure is the one that supports the mine from any earthquakes and explosions when we are trying to go further with our mine. Then this is our path that we use to transport some oxygen to the underground layers. And this one is for the water, for water to, to be able to, be, to get reached under the water. Good morning everyone, my name is Ola Ratamakita and I'm here with my teammate in Taksem Matlab. We are in grade 8 and we are going to present our temperature sensing circuit. The purpose of our temperature sensing circuit is to measure the temperature in underground mines and determine whether it is safe or unsafe for the workers to enter. When the blue LED light is on, that means the temperature is below 20 degrees and that it is cold. When the green LED light turns on, that means the temperature is in between 20 and, and 40 degrees and that the temperature is average. Then when the red LED light turns on, that means the temperature is above 40 degrees. When the blue or red LED light turn on, that means it is not safe for the underground mine workers to enter. Then when the green LED light turns on, that means it is safe for the underground mine workers to enter in the in the underground mines. Thank you. Hey, my name is Ayanda Abedi and I'm here to present my clearance damper board. This damper board is supposed to clear up the mine's place after blast activities have taken place. It 
It uses a UV, it uses an infrared sensor to sense where the damp is so that it can collect it with ease. Also, it gives one advantage that it can travel in toxic places where humans can't venture. Also, it has two, a set of conveyor wheels allowing it to drive in rough surfaces with ease. Thank you. Good morning everyone, my name is Simpiwa Chirimanzira. I am grade 8 in Mandisa Shiteka Math Science and ICT School of Specialization with a focus on mining. Presenting the traffic management system. The traffic management system is made to improve safety in underground mines and reduce the amount of traffic that is taking place. As you can see, all these cars, um, they depend on which cars coming from which direction have the right of way and they have the right to follow and respect the traffic lights. Thank you for your time. Morning everyone, my name is Amkhalang Poisons and I'm here to present the Astrobot Rover. An Astrobot Rover is a device control robot. When building this robot, we didn't use any coding since it is device control. Okay, what is the purpose of the Astrobot? The Astrobot uses a satellite to scan its environmental data. As you can see right now, it uses a satellite and it can also capture its environmental data and also can capture minerals that are found in underground like gold, coal and all. Thank you. It was awesome, right, Vera? Yes, Lebu. It was exciting to see the amazing skills that learners are acquiring at our schools of specialization. And if you want to know more about these schools, click on the link above to get a detailed explanation. Have you lost or damaged your metric certificates? Or you need to combine your results? Or maybe the information on your certificate is incorrect? You can visit your nearest GDE district offices to apply for a replacement metric certificate, combine your results or change the details on your existing certificates. Alternatively, you can visit the Umalusi website at www.umalusi-online.org.za to apply for your replacement certificate. That's it for this week's episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Rilebile Twala. And I'm Veronica Sikiti. This is GDE On Point. Kindly follow us on our social media pages. Like, subscribe and comment down below. Till next time. Bye. Bye.